um, we'll now get to hear from Carlos Manuel Rodriguez, Rodriguez, who will share some concrete actions that can realize his vision. Let's hear from Carlos. We normally talk about the dual planetary crisis or the triple planetary crisis, talking about uh, biodiversity loss, uh, climate change, and pollution. I, I think that is much more than that. It's a big enchilada. We got so many things on top. And I don't think that we have a, a planetary, triple planetary crisis. What we have is an ecological collapse. The life uh, supporting system of planet Earth is collapsing. And that is one of the two main, main problems that humans, uh, humanity has to confront with, ecological collapse at all scales, at the global scale. But the second most relevant challenge for me is the inability of humans to collaborate, to cooperate, and to agree so we can deal with those huge global challenges. And, and that is a very, very big problem. Uh, we constantly see that inability of humans to agree in the COPs, in the G20, even the G7, and that is uh, worrisome because there is no other way to deal with those uh, global issues uh, unless we cooperate and we agree and we establish multilateral systems and mechanisms that can help us. So I think that we need to first recognize the, the dimension and the scale of, of this problem and really concentrate on those uh, mechanisms, those ways by which we can agree. And even though in the past uh, we had some very interesting agreements like the Paris Agreement or the Kunming Montreal the Global Biodiversity Framework, the implementation of it, it becomes extremely complicated. And I tend to believe that the way by which we can advance in ways by which we can agree and implement actions is investing on the, the change of our economic system. Our economic system, I would call it the neoclassic economic systems, aims for unlimited growth without recognizing the planetary boundaries. So taking actions to move from this irrational economic system into a circular one is critical. And for that, we need to work a lot on policies, on politics, on regulations, and on governments. And I think that this is an area that can really help us setting the baselines for dealing with the ecological collapse and the lack of capacities of humans uh, to agree on, on the important things. And um, there should be a major transformation in the political systems and the political structures. And this is, I believe, a topic of high interest for this conference and for this group. In that context, two elements are relevant for me, and I hope that this can be a contribution to the discussion that we will be having today, which are the need to really phase out, eliminate all of those subsidies and all of those perverse incentives that contribute to climate change and the loss of biodiversity. And we need to do or uh, generate political agreements on how to do the transition so we can repurpose those resources into something very positive, positive for nature, positive uh, for the people. And the other second political task that we have in front of us is the redesign of uh, the government structures. We have organized governments uh, and they operate through institutions, ministries and agencies. And when you see how governments have decided you know, how to manage uh, and the environment and the natural resources, you got too many agencies working with too many different uh, natural resources. And the best example is what you normally see where you have the Ministry of Environment managing renewable natural resources and the Ministries of uh, Energy Mines managing non-renewable natural resources with different opinions or different ideas and different concepts. We need to move towards institutions that works at the landscape level or seascape level in a more comprehensive and holistic manner. And that, those two elements will create the basis for those political understandings that eventually will trickle up into the international negotiations. And there is where we can generate agreements on how we implement the, the global environmental agreements. Thank you.